of the last video. So what it is is that when you're not talking about a specific person in life, right? You're going to run into stumble blocks. You're going to run into those who feel like everything should be about them. And you're going to run into these things where you're like, I'm not even talking about, you know what I'm saying, specific people. You have to want to be happy. And when you're in, when you're in a relationship and, and you're trying to talk to somebody, I'm going to give y'all a word of advice. If they tell you, I want communication and you give it to them and they have a problem every time you're communicating, the problem is no longer you. The problem is no longer you and they deserve to be by themselves until they figure themselves out. I have realized like when somebody says, just communicate with me, just communicate, just talk to me. Okay. What about when I'm not talking to you? What, I, what, what about when I'm not making something about you? And you're making it about you. Right? I'm not the only person who's went through this. So I'm going to keep it thorough. What about when a person always has to have a problem every single day of their life to make their life interesting? What about that? What about the person who, who will smile in your face, but when you're not in their face, they got a problem with you? What about that person? I bring all these scenarios up because I'm going to tell y'all something. People, you cannot please the unpleasable. Let me say it again. You cannot please the unpleasable. What I mean by that is a person who is willing to find something wrong every single day does not want to be happy. Facts. Or let me take it back. They don't want to be happy with you. They want to hold on to the past tense so you will always look like trash for whatever you did before. Never mind what they've done. As long as we know what you've done. You have to sit back and recline a little bit and understand that if they can continue to make you feel or look a certain way, they will. They will. Why? Because it's easier to pass blame and it's easier to judge a person if you sit there and let it happen. The moment you're like, are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Because sometimes as a man, I know women who go through this too, but as a man, sometimes you have no clue what the hell the other person's talking about because they made something so much about themselves. Like you're like, what? But then you have to look at it and say, why do you go through all these problems every day? Why is something wrong every day? If somebody don't want to deal with you, then they don't want to deal with you. The thing about it is like when you finally push that button on that person and they finally say, you know what? I love you, but I'm going to love you from a distance. I'm going to love you from a far away because I can't keep letting you hurt me. I can't keep letting you throw me under the bus. I can't keep letting you tell me that I'm great, but yet you want to you wanna break me. See, in order to love a person, you have to take the good with the bad. It ain't all going to be good. It ain't all going to be bad, but you got to take the good with the bad. But when a person is always trying to be right, and like, I guess in their like former life, they thought they were right. So now they want to try it now. It's different. It's different. You have to be prepared to say, I'm not right all the time. And some people just can't. Some people are stuck with, I'm right. No matter what it is, I'm right. And then you realize why they stuck where they're at in life. I've been down that road so I can speak it clearly. You have to also understand that people get tired of fighting the same battle when there is no battle to fight. Don't tell nobody you care and you love them and you want things to work out if you're going to always find every little reason to argue. Oh, I want to spend time with you. I want I want us to do this. Yet when that person says, okay, cool, let's spend time together. Oh, I can't. I got to go do this. But after that, so why is that person on your time? Right? Oh, I gotta I gotta do this. Why is the person gotta be on your time? If y'all already got something planned out, why can't y'all just be it be planned all the way through? But here goes the problem with most people. They will always find a way to make it about themselves and to blame you for everything that goes wrong. So yes, it it's gonna bother you. It's gonna hurt. It's supposed to, because especially when you're doing everything right, it's supposed to bother you. 
But at some point, you have to look at yourself and say, this person never had my best intentions. My best intentions are only good as long as they can see me physically. My best intentions are never going to be good enough for this person because all they know is what they want to know. See, a forgiveness button is one thing, but when you're looking at somebody and you're like, man, that person don't forgive me, dude. This person don't really want to be with me. This person is looking for a way to make me look like, how come you you did this? How come you did that? Why is this an issue? When you start asking all these questions, you have to ask yourself, like, is this person for real? Are they for real or are they not? Stop making somebody pay for something that they shouldn't be paying for. If you love somebody, love them wholeheartedly. If you want them to be in your life, tell them, like, I want you to be in my life. I know I'm not perfect, but we can figure things out together. If it's a family setting, then let it be a family setting. If you don't want it, then leave it alone and stop making them suffer. That's it. Carter's life. <laughs>